Hi everybody and welcome back to another tutorial from my Simply series range of books. Today I'm going to be going through Muffins Reel in Simply Jigs and Reels, so I do hope you like that. If you want to know where I got the book from, there'll be a link that's coming just above my head where you can get it from, or there'll be a quick link in the description bar directly underneath this video. So if you want to know how to play Muffins Reel from Simply Jigs and Reels, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is play the whole thing through for you so you can get a flavour and get a feel for it, then I shall take you through parts of the music. You will notice that there are some repeats in there, but I won't do the repeats in the performance today. So that's Muffin's Reel. So the difference between a jig and a reel is that a jig is normally in sort of 6-8 time and a reel is normally in 4-4 four, four time. So this is definitely, definitely a reel. Now the speed of this um, does say lively and it probably should go a little bit faster. I didn't do it faster in the performance, you know, just so it can be a little bit daunting and sort of an un unachievable goal if you like. However, if you want to work up to playing it a little bit faster, it will be a little bit more authentic. So um, if you played it a little bit faster... <laughs> You could play a little bit faster and that's the kind of thing that you want to achieve with this but it's just a, a matter of slowing it down and gently speeding it up as you go along to get your notes to get your fingers around the notes and, and get it going a little bit faster so the difficulty about this apart from the speed is i think just getting your fingers around the notes but it is just slow practice <laughs> It is just a case of slow practice. When you get to bar three, you'll notice that because of the key is G major, you'll notice that you've got an F sharp, which is going to be your second finger next to where the third finger goes. So if your third finger is going on the green dot there, your second finger is going to be right next to that. And then you've got an open A, and then you've got a C natural, so it's a back second finger. So you've got a stretch second finger for the F sharp and then you've got a back second finger for the C. Now that's really important that you do that. So what that's going to look like is this. So you want to have it stretched, then open A and then bring it back. So that's important that you do that, otherwise if you don't you're going to lose the sound. It'll, it will sound... And we don't want that. Nobody wants that because that doesn't sound very nice. So that's the only other one thing that you have to look out for. The only other thing I can think of are the sort of scale runs in bar two. You've got another one in bar seven and you've got another one in bar 15 as well, where you're jumping from a note on the D string all the way to the E string. So... <laughs> have to do is just and then play the note on the D string whether it's a third finger or an open D and then move the bow don't try not to try not to drag the bow anymore otherwise you'll you'll get the sound of the A and the E string hitting so so what we're going to do is just gently lift that bow up and so give it a little bit of a break so you could have a da 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 da, da rather than a da 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 just have sort of a break there so what that does is it sounds quite nice anyway. It's like a da, da da. It's like an introduction into that that scale run that you've got there. Plus, it just gives your bow a little bit of extra time just to get over to the uh, over to the E string. So that's everything I need to mention on Muffins Reel. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out some other the other book series I've done: Simply Romantic, Simply Gypsy, Simply Jazz and ja, Jazz and Blues, all that kind of thing. They'll come with videos, ten pieces in each book, and they'll be in the description bar directly underneath this video. So go and check there and check out those videos. Um, thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video.